Someone asked me a question, or should I say left a comment, on one of the videos, and they were wondering, what do you do if you have a shower drain? Or this realistically could affect any drain, toilet, sink, uh, shower, washer, dryer. What do you do if you have one right where a floor joist needs to go? Of course, this would obviously be, um, it would take precedence more on a remodel hopefully than a new the new construction but realistically one of the best ways I've found to deal with this situation is to actually remove the board um, that is in the way and place two on each side and of course this would still fall into keeping the floor joists at uh, 16 inches on center, 24 inches on center, whatever you would be using. Um, so for example, if you had 16 inch on center floor joists, you would not want to span these joists more than 16 inches on center. Now this is an easy, I don't want to say it's an easy fix, it's just a, should I say, it's, it's better than going through the whole head out system um, and you're going to use more wood with the head out system. But there is another problem, and uh, sometimes this is going to work on a second floor than better, I should say, than on a, in a crawl space area. In a crawl space area, you have a few more options. But if you're going to, if you're going to have a plumbing pipe that needs to stay within the floor, then there's a good chance you won't be able to head it out. Or should I say, if you end up with a situation like this, you're going to need to drill through the head out, which might take some of the structural integrity out of it. So the way, if you're going to use the head out method, if that is going to work for you, knock yourself out. It will require a little more lumber than the other method. Um, and again, like I said, most people, they just jump right into it. Hey, let's head this thing out. But uh, realistically, if you can go ahead and slap a couple of joists on either side of the bay, um, remove the floor joists that you're going to use, um, that you're going to move and reuse it, and, you know, that's then if that's the case, you're only going to need one more additional joist to make this thing work out. So anyway, if these videos help, go ahead and hit me with a thumbs up. Um, they are always greatly appreciated and stay tuned for the next video.